More than seven billion francs and wieners each year earn the U.S. mark of wholesomeness. You identify a franc by its shape and color. The meat inspector sees more than that. He sees that it's made from wholesome meat with approved amounts of other ingredients. The hot dog has been an American food staple since the 1800s. The influx of German and other European immigrants during this period made sausage popular in the States. Out of this and America's on the move culture came the hot dog, which was usually sold out of carts in places like New York and Chicago. Growing up on the East Coast, I was never far from a hot dog. Hot dogs are about as common as tacos are in Austin. And out of respect for that fact alone, and out of my lifelong devotion to the hot dog, I am more than excited today to try out Austin's very own Dogello's Chili Dogs. Come on. In the parking lot of a bike shop in Austin's West Campus neighborhood, Dogello's is keeping this tradition alive by putting their own spin on the classic American hot dog. Oh yeah, hot dog love. To find out what makes Dogello's different from the average dog, I stepped into the kitchen with CEO, chef, and owner, Joe Holland. You got some pretty unique things. Uh, you mentioned you make your own chili, um, you make your own relish. Show me what goes into the making of epic sure. chili dogs. So it starts with a bun. You want the mustard on the bottom of the bun so that you get the hit of vinegar at the, at the bottom, not at the top. Ooh. Of course, then you want your dog, and we use a, a Hebrew National kosher all beef hot dog. This is our uh, chili, which we make. It's all beef. It's got a little bit of a uh, Mexican influence because I, I use some enchilada sauce in it. Right. So anyway, so I've dropped some cheddar on there, and then just top it off with onion. You know, there is a melding of flavors there with the the, the mustard, the dog, the chili, the cheese, the onion, and you know that one bite. If you're done it well, yeah, it is a chili. I, I would love to try this out. Oh it. man. Oil is a bowl, so you can get chili on your shirt, just don't get it on my counter. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of used to being a slob, so this will work out perfect. Mm. Mm. That's a good dog. Sometimes UT's most intellectual students come to Doggo's to get some studying in. So now you make your own relish, yep. right? Yep. Can you tell me about what the relish is all about, what goes into it, all sure. that good stuff. This is the mango heat, so it's mango jalapeno, oh. and it's got ingredients like uh, uh, Mexican oregano and you know garlic and some other spices mm -hmm. and stuff, so it's a pretty specific recipe. Okay. Have at it. Oh man, I will. Oh good god. It's like getting my meal and my dessert in one, you know. And there you go. Mm. But yeah, and then the other superb. You know, I do a raspberry chipotle, um, a blackberry serrano chili, um, a cherry and green chili. Those are the those are the basics. I, 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 you know, my whole philosophy about this thing is keep it simple and do a few things really well. After chowing down, I was joined by friend of the show and the man behind Austin Foodie Card. Com, Chris Delgado. We chatted with the cynical and sometimes bitter hot dog man. Well, clearly, I like hot dogs. Um, <clears throat> you are what you eat? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Is that? That's good. I haven't heard that one before. I'm a six foot wiener, for God's sakes. I had to ask hot dog man what his thoughts on Dogello's chili dogs were. You know, this is the best hot dog place in Austin, so if I have to be associated with somebody, this will be it, and uh, that's it. I tried to share some of my deep philosophies on hot dogs, but Hot Dog Man would have none of it. I mean, I understand that, you know, everybody wants to analyze their food and, you know, elevate it. I mean, it's a hot dog, so let's simmer down a little bit. He did, however, drop some knowledge on me about the hot dog as a whole. Yeah, I mean, you go to different places, they have different hot dogs. The East Coast is where it started and it was all, you know, bratwurst and, you know, so it's a different type of thing there. Uh, 
I come from the West Coast where it's, it's more longer wieners and uh, more about uh, uh, sauces and you know, things like that. In the end, it all came down to one basic fact. You know, yeah, it, it's like anything else. You have to treat a hot dog with respect. You can't just put it in a bun and throw a bunch of slop on it and, you know, as long as you got a fancy sign on top, it's a good hot dog. You have to love hot dogs. You have to know what they taste good with. And you have to be, you know, you have to be true to it. Um, but you don't have to, you don't have to sell your soul to it. Dogella's Chili Dogs is located at the corner of 24th Street and San Gabriel. Follow Neil on Twitter. There's almost kind of a snap when you bite into the, uh, the, um, uh, oops. The Hebrew National? <laughs> I just pulled a Rick Curry. <laughs> well, that, that happens after a bite of my Chili Dog. Your, your upper, upper brain function starts to slow down, so.